This is the current setup of my room. I have my bookshelf here right next to my bed and then a table. And these are all brand new furniture because my other one from downstairs was really old and my table was super small. So I wanted something more spacious. Everything from downstairs, I just put them on top for now and I haven't organized it yet. So that's why it's really messy. And then I got this bed. I just purchased the mattress today, which is why there's no mattress yet. I just wanted to give you guys a quick haul of what I got from Ikea before I start assembling it and decorating my room. I did get a chair and another drawer which I'm not going to hold up because they're in like boxes. I picked up the set of charging cords. It's super handy when you need to charge a lot of things at once. And then I got this trash can and it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be but this would be useful when I have a lot of trash I want to throw out. And then I got new bed sheets and pillow covers. I decided to go with gray this time because when I had my white sheets, they got dirty really fast and it just got really annoying to clean. So I decided to stick with a more dark color. And then lastly, I got two sets of picture frames. They're in different sizes. I got this really huge one and then also a smaller one i don't know what size i want yet so that's why i got both of them and then i'll just see which one looks better and then return the one i don't really like but yeah this one is a lot bigger than this one My dad literally just rebuilt this entire cabinet for me because I realized too late that I flipped this inside out and this was like pointing inwards so he had to like take out every single pin and like put it back. It's finally done and I was super stressed but now I'm going to start organizing it a little bit. I'm going to start by organizing my makeup first and then move on to my desk area. carry up all my stuff i just dumped everything into a trash bag and now all of my stickers and like stationary stuff i have to re-go through and there's literally so many things and it's like in this big trash bag i don't even know where like to start these are some of the contacts I have, and then I have like my text stuff here, and then I have my stationary stuff. Like, I don't even know where to start. How do I even organize all this? 
우리는 같이 있었고 이제는 네가 떠나도 I don't care about it all 음 어제까지도 우리는 같이 있었고 이제는 네가 떠나도 I don't care about it all 어젯밤과 함께 떠나간 떠난 게는 나를 전혀 바라보지 않잖아 우리 둘 사이 관계는 깊지 않아 관계는 깊지 않아 보이는 거 알잖아 발장을 끼지 않고 걷기로 해 억지로 웃음 짓지 않기로 해 조금만 떨어져서 걷기로 해 나를 바보처럼 바라보던 날도 우리가 별명을 부르던 그날도 둘이 여기저기 돌아다닌 날도 I've come back and decided that I want to get a plant. I usually used to get like fake ones, but now I want some real plants. I went to Ikea again and I got a few storage boxes for my shelf because I didn't really have any places to put like any miscellaneous items and it looks a lot neater when it's in a box. I also got this container and I'm gonna put my cameras and chargers inside here so it's easy to access. I also got this clock which I'm definitely not going to use but I thought it was super cute and I'm just gonna use it for decor. I was debating between the black one and the white one but I thought that black would stand out more because everything in my room is like white I'm looking through Pinterest for some prints and I really really like typography for some reason. I feel like the blocky letters just look so cool. A lot of the prints I'm looking at are from Bauhaus which is a German art school which was pretty interesting to read because I actually learned about it in my classes when I was abroad. So I'm just looking through one of the websites that has a lot of collections of the typography and artwork. So it's just really interesting to like look at and read about because I actually learned about some of this stuff in classes and I didn't think that I would ever read about it again but here I am reading about it while looking for my room decor. I feel like it'd be really nice to have a little bit of Germany in my room. Guys, guess what I just got in my mail? My driver's license! I literally was driving with a temporary license and my permit before but now I can actually have my license and my picture is so bad. It's from like last year and... Ugh. I don't know why they used a picture of my permit, so now I just I'm not gonna show you guys. So I just got an email from Staples that it's ready for pickup. So I'm gonna go to Staples now to pick up my prints and then come back to hang them up on my wall. I'm so excited to see how it looks. <laughs> Marshalls to find a tissue holder and I don't think they saw any but look at all these cute mugs I found look at how many mugs they have they have so many Hello Kitty themed mugs so cute this one is actually so adorable I got the mug it's literally so adorable it's so humongous too like it's like the size of my head I got two of them because one of them is for Kate she asked me to get one for her because when we went last time they didn't have it in stock this time they finally had it so when she comes back she'll be able to have it and I got one huge print because my frame is actually not available in the size that they print it as they only print 18 by 24 and my frame size is 16 by 20 so I literally had to guess how much to like make the picture smaller by so I just got one to test it out because I didn't want to spend like extra money and have both of them not fit the frame I also printed out smaller pictures the first one I printed out are these cartoon ones this one I forgot what the cartoon is called but it's the sheep and then this one is Snoopy so I'm just gonna cut around it and then put it on my wall and the second one I got is a calendar even though 2023 is almost over I thought this one was super super cute So I did not do the measurements correctly and I made the picture too small so I had to add the white frame. It like barely fits into the white frame so I don't know if I should get another print and try to make it so it's like all black so I don't need the white frame if that makes sense or if it looks okay like this. I feel like it looks okay but the letters are so close to the line so it makes it kind of look weird. Try I am 
So my dad and one of his friends just helped me put up the clock and my shelf as well as a CD player which I'm not using right now because I have no CDs but I think it just looks super nice next to my desk area. I actually have another shelf but I think that I'm just going to put up one for now because I don't really know what I want to put up there yet and I also don't know like where to put it so I'm just gonna keep it. Now the transfer all of my babies onto my shelf. Oh my god, they look so cute. This is my last one. Yay! So stupid. So while I was cleaning, I found these candies that I got from Hong Kong, and these are milk balls. I haven't opened it yet, but the packaging is literally so cute. They all come individually wrapped. Mmm. It's actually not surprisingly as sweet as I thought it would be. This literally just tastes like condensed milk, but in a hard candy. I would give this like an 8.5 out of 10. Guys, look how disgusting my napkin is after cleaning my mirror. Ooh, this is so gross. My mirror is finally clean. I literally haven't cleaned it for such a long time. It's not dusty anymore like before. Like you can see me clearly. <laughs> my makeup supplies that are organized into these small containers the second one also has more makeup and the third drawer has some of my contacts some skincare stuff and my glasses and hair stuff in this cart here i just sorted out some cute things i have my headphones the mirror that i use for makeup these two cups that i use this one is a bare one that i got from my friend christine and i also have this little cup from ikea I put my hair clips in this little box as well and this is a notebook that I use to journal in. Below it, I have some skincare stuff as well as this headband for when I wash my face, some q-tips and a candle. And the third one is just really random stuff. Moving on to my desk, I have this pegboard and on it, I just kind of clipped on things that I thought were really cute. So I have some pictures here. This one is from Korea that we took at a photo booth. And I got this keychain in Taiwan. I also put some of my pencils and pens in here. On the bottom, I have a clock, my perfume that I use. This is from Jo Malone, and this is their Honeysuckle and Devana. I also have the cutest Sunny Angel. I got this one from Japan, and it's so adorable, so I put it right next to me. And I also have this film camera from Canon. Next to it, I have this shelf that I have some more stationary stuff on top, some post-it notes, and I have my glasses, earbuds, and a calculator. 
And then here I put some of my favorite jewelry. So these are like two earrings that I got for my birthday and I thought it just looked really cute with the gray Vivian Westwood box. And I haven't washed my mug yet, but I put the Hello Kitty mug next to my desk because I thought it matched the overall black and white theme. Over here, I have my lamp, these fake tulips that I got like literally years ago. I think it was originally white, but now it's like turning yellow because of how old it is. And then next to it, I have a candle that I never use. I just really like the container. This is from Muji. And then I have a blind box character on top. And next to it, I have the milk ball candies. I just thought the packaging was super cute, so I put it on my desk as decor as well. In my drawers, I have my stationery, pencils, washi tape, stickers. This is my digicam that I put here, and my pencil boxes. For my second drawer, it's a little bit more miscellaneous. I kind of just like put items that I need sometimes. I have my Advil, some of my camera stuff in here. Um, charging cords, a broken digicam. Bottom one, I have some like GoPro items and then just like really, really random stuff. For my wall, I have a LED light and this calendar that I printed out. And then next to it, I just taped some prints up. Here I have my CD and then next to it, I have some more prints. And then my favorite section is my little wall of sunny angels. I just put them on the shelf here all lined up. And then there's also this one that I didn't really know where to put this guy, so I just added him with my sunnies. My windows aren't done yet because I don't have the curtains and they still have like construction stuff on my windows, but I added this plant that I got from Ikea here. I haven't named her yet, so if you guys have any name ideas, drop them below. And then next to it, I have some more fake tulips. These are like pink. So this is my bed. I have my plushies on top and next to it, I have my bookshelf. I printed out this picture and I leaned it against the wall because I thought it looked nice with the collection of items I have here. So I have a lamp, a little Miffy night lamp, as well as a clock. And this is my Google speaker. For my bookshelf, I have my gym stuff and some books that I read in this container. In this box, I have my camera stuff. Next to it is a jewelry box. These are some books that I have not finished reading yet, but I will definitely start them and actually finish them because these are like books that I have not read and touched in like two years, so. And then here are my albums. Below, I have this fan that I use sometimes, so I put it down here. And then this box is all of like my random stuff that I shoved inside, so it's really full. And the last container has just more random stuff. These are some notebooks that I use, the shelf that I never put up yet, and this little mini garbage can. So this is my closet. I hung up a lot of my items in color coordination, so it goes from like black, gray to white. And then I folded all my pants and jeans. And then on the side, I have just some like tank tops and shorts so this is going to be the end of today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you're still here i really hope you guys enjoy this extreme room makeover and transformation sadly i am literally moving out tomorrow back to university so i'm packing up all my decor and leaving to boston it was a very short stay in this room but i'm definitely gonna put it back in a very similar way when i come back in december and i'll see you guys in my next vlog which is going to be in boston and university so i'll see you guys next time Bye!